Okay, I'm going to show you about three different ways to find missing angles in triangles. And the first thing you need to know is that triangles' angles always add up to 180 degrees. So in this scalene triangle that has three different sides, it also has three different angles. 100, 50, and a mystery angle. But we know they all three add to 180. So to figure out the mystery, the first thing I'm going to do is add the angles I know. 150. So I add 100 and 50 and I get 150. And then I subtract this from 180 because I know all three angles add to 180. And I get 30. So the answer to this mystery angle is 30 degrees. Now for an isosceles, which means it has two equal sides and one different side, it also has two equal angles. And I know they all add up to 180. So to solve for one of the mystery angles, I'm going to subtract from 180 the angle we know, which is 20. 180 minus 20 is 160. This 160 is split equally between the two equal angles. So to figure out which each of them are, I'm going to divide 160 exactly in half. Half of 160 is 80. So this angle is 80 and this angle is 80. Because 80 plus 80 plus 20 equals 180, like all triangles. The third kind of triangle I want to talk about is an equilateral. It has three equal sides. And guess what? It has three equal angles. So to figure out what each angle is, I can just take 180 and divide it by 3. 3 goes into 18 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. And I bring down my 0. 3 goes into 0, 0 times. And I get an answer of 60. So each of these angles are 60, 60, and 60. And this will always be true for any kind of equilateral. And that's three different ways to find missing angles in trouble.